So in this one, basically you just have a piece of cardboard. So really what that should mean to you is you have a, you have a rectangle. And you know that if you were to take a piece of paper or if you took a rectangle and you cut out the corners, you can fold it up to make a box, right? Hope you guys realize that. Oh, you, you didn't realize that. Now you're going to go home and, great, I've always wanted to make my own little box. Sweet. So if you were to take a rectangle, yeah, I know this is not perfect, but you didn't take me because I was perfect. So here's my rectangle. Now basically what you're doing is that you're going to cut off corners right here. Now understand that these corners must be squares or you can't really make a box that looks right after this, right? So you're going to cut these corners off and then you end up with something that looks like this. look about right what we're going for here now it's all about understanding what the dimensions are because as you read this problem it tells you what the volume of this box is going to be it says that the volume is 189 cubic inches so the volume for this guy right here has a formula what's the formula for any rectangular prism it's length times width times height. Now, I, I don't have that here, but I have something about these original dimensions. Now, in the original dimensions, it says that the length is five inches more than the width. Now, I don't know this width, so I'm just going to say x or w. It doesn't really matter. Then how would you represent the length? X plus this is x plus five. Now, let me ask you this. Does that mean that this piece right here is x plus five and that this piece on the side is x? No, Why not? Well, it's, it, it's a box. It doesn't really matter if... Oh, it's a perfect. It's going to make square. But you took away... Three less. I took away these corners, right? So this... Two, two, well, two, two, two. That is what x plus 5 is, right? right? But when you actually fold your box, it's only going to be from here three. to here, right? And the same thing here on the side. This whole guy is x. But when you fold the box, it's going to be a little bit less than that, right? Now, how big are these corners? What are the dimensions of these corners that I have that I'm cutting out? One and a half. Too bad, you guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can't be here because all these colors smell. This is ugh, forest pine. That doesn't mix well with burnt marshmallow. So these are all, let's see, corners to cut off. Each is one and a half by one and a half. So one and a half by one and a half. And so what you guys were saying is right, I'm basically cutting off one and a half inches on each side, which is amount which amounts to three from each. So this side right here was wrong color. This was X plus five, but then I I took off three, right? And this piece was X, but I'm also taking away three. So if I look at my volume here, my volume is length times width times height. What's your volume though? Let's go ahead and start with what we know. The volume was given to us 189, so I can put that in there. What's the length of this box now? That's x plus five minus three, so that's x plus two. And what's the width? That's x minus 3. But what's the height? 1.5. When you cut off these corners right here, right, that meant that you were folded up, and that means this height right here is 1 and a half. You can say 1.5. You can say, I'm the kind of guy who likes to leave fractions, so I would say 3 halves. Is that going to bother you if I say 3 halves? OK. Watch what happens if I say 3 halves the work will actually be kind of nice. 
if I were to multiply all of this out, you see I have a degree of 1 and a degree of 1. This has no degree. So the product over here would be a degree of 2, which is quadratic, which gives me something familiar, right? And that's what we're going to find out later on this semester. Once we have things that are familiar, that are quadratic, then I'm in good shape. Uh, a lot of times it's the issue of how do we get back to something that's quadratic. I don't like this three halves, but you know what? I can get rid of that. I mean, I could, I could multiply this out and then times three halves, but that three halves is really going to get in the way. However, if I multiply times what? Two -thirds. Multiply times the reciprocal on both sides. Okay. You see that on the right side, the twos reduce, the threes reduce, and I'm happy there. Over here, what do I do with two thirds times one eighty nine? All the cool kids reduce. Three goes in here how many times? Three goes into eighteen six times, right? Three goes into nine three times. So what do we end up with? One hundred twenty six equals so this stuff canceled. And let's see what happens whenever I multiply this out. What do you get? You understand that right now, we're not even in the word problem. The word problem doesn't matter. What matters is it's an equation to solve. X squared minus X minus 6. This guy looks quadratic. You know what I think I might want to do first? What was that thought process? What's the, what's the order of, of easiness? WTF will that factor. So when you set it equal to zero, here's the thing. If you want it to factor, it has to be set equal to zero. If you want to use the quadratic formula, you also have to set it equal to zero, right? So let's do that. Let's move the 126 over. So zero equals x squared minus x minus 132. I don't know if 132 still fits on your multiplication tables. It does on mine. Tell me two numbers of multiply to get 132. And you know what? If you're not sure, this is what you're going to do. You come over here to the side and you do a factor tree. I know that 2 goes in here how many times? 66. I know that 2 still goes into this guy 33 times. And then the only other thing that can happen here is 3 times 11. These are your prime factors. So when I'm trying to think about what numbers can go into 132, I'm going to use these guys right here. So I'm going to list all those factor pairs so that you know how to find them easily. First of all, I have 1 and 132, but you know that's nonsense because I'm supposed to have a 1 as the difference between those two factors. You already said 2 and 66. Does 3 go into 132? No. Yes. You know it does because 3 is right here. If 3 is a factor, what do the rest of the factors well, make up? You did your tree is 12 and 11. 2 times 2 times 3 is 12, right? Yeah. Okay. But that, but see, that's, 12 and 11, and that gives you the 1. But that's what we're eventually going to get to. Okay. What I want you to see is that you. if you don't know, you can go through systematically and find everything you need. 3 goes in here. What's left over is 2 times 2 times 11, which gives you what? 44. Does 5 go into this? No. Does 6? Here's 6 right here. So 6 times what? The other factors will give you 22. Do you see a 7 that's a factor here? No. 8? I've got 2 times 2. I'm just missing one more factor of 2 to get 8. So no 8. There's no 9. There's no 10. Eventually, you do get to the 11. 11 times what? 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. And you see, we have listed every single factor and every factor pair that would give you 132. We went through it systematically. We used the prime factors here to get what we wanted. Okay. Now, you may have stopped earlier and said, oh, 12 times 11, that's exactly what I need. But if you don't see that, I want you to know how you can get everything out of this. So 11 and 12, that's exactly what I want to use. So how does this factor? That's x minus 12 times x plus 11. So when I finish solving this, I get x equals what? 12 or x equals? 
Now, what was x representing? The width. It was representing the, the width. It was representing a length. So, so does a negative number make sense? No. No, that negative does not make any sense at all. 12 does make sense, but I cannot just box that because I have to make sure I understand how that will help me answer the question. The question says, what are the original dimensions of the piece of cardboard? Well, this guy is x, so that means that this original dimension was what? 12. 12. I need units. I'm measuring this in inches, I believe. Yes. So then what's this guy? What's the length? x plus 5, 12 plus 5 is 17 inches. So we can state our answer and say this. That the original dimensions are 12 inches by 17 inches.